Van der Pitt, Kwame, Starikova, and Mitchell, who needs to be up there, is down, not quite out, but has to get through traffic. She's up now, making it around in the third place. It's going to be tense and it's going to be tight. There's Van der Pitt going all the way, and oh, Kelsey Mitchell misses out. Kelsey Mitchell misses out, and Mathilde Croix can't quite start the party yet, but she's got one hand on the trophy. And it's the women's Kieran final that could see Mathilde Croix lay one big strong hand on the Champions League trophy. Now it's time for Von der Waal to move up. And look at all these orange jerseys. En masse moving up there, it's almost like a sprint lead out. The bell is about to ring. Brass Fenix up there. Van der Waal not too far behind. Van der Pitt's got it all to do this time. Mathieu de Croix getting boxed in at the bottom. Marta Bayona's making a move on the outside in the yellow jersey. Marta Bayona going for the line. And Marta Bayona wins it for Colombia. Three Dutch riders, no problem. Champions League leader, bin to the back. And the new sprint star from France, Kwame, also beaten. It's Marta Bayona, one of the stars of this Champions League, who takes a memorable win on the boards in the British capital. So Richardson, having Lavarius and maybe where he wants him for the moment. That's meant little between these two so far. Every battle has been close. Lavresen at the front pedalling away and look he's gaining here. Richardson needs to do something very, very special as he goes into turn three and turn four, but it's Lavresen all the way. Richardson's gaining, Richardson's gaining, but not enough. Lavresen wins and is back to the top of the league by a single point. Sana Bras Fenix in the second semi. Could win the Champions League in this semi-final here. If she's victorious and Mathilde Cor isn't in the top four, she would have won the league. Stadikova going yet again for a long one like she did last night and Cor having a lot to do. Stadikova is there, but here is the world sprint champion. Mathilde Cor wanting to put a marker down. Krabosch is following her though. Here comes Mathilde Cor, however, into the finish straight. Here comes Mathilde Cor, and Mathilde Cor wins the Champions League. She's into the final tonight, but with an eight point gap, she has confirmed that she'll be lifting the trophy at the end of the night. She knows it. Champions League trophy is in play and it's going either yet again to Harry Lavresen or to Matthew Richardson. Lavresen leads by one point but in this Kieran final whoever finishes ahead of the other will take the honours. Now Dirash trying to come around and Richardson in trouble and he's boxed in. Manages to sneak out though and follow Lavresen. One and a half laps to go. It is Harry Lavresen at the front. Vertica there, but here comes Richardson. Bell about a ring. It's Lavresen who's going to keep it going into the final 200 metres now. And he's opening the gap at least. He's opening the gap. Richardson trying to get back on turns. It's not happening. It's the chance for the late, late show. He's coming. He's coming all the way. And right on the line. Matthew Richardson has taken the Champions League crown. Late, late drama and he left it right to the very last pedal stroke. It's the stuff of dreams. Matthew Richardson, this time last year, was watching on the sofa. Stuck down under in Australia with the COVID restrictions. This year it's opened up. He's turned up and he's dethroned the world champion. Richardson comes out of turn four, still so much work to do, still a full bike length. And just in that lunge, absolute perfection there. <laughs> but before whatever else needs to happen, here's the moment. Look at that. What a character. What an addition to the star cast list that this sport has. And look at that. Each of them between them have shared every single sprint win in this series. Yeah, 
nobody else able to get a win here. But what a battle we've had between the two of them. It's been so exciting, every round so tight. Time for the final event of this Series 2. Mathilde Croix has done enough to mathematically win. She want to finish with a victory against the Olympic champ. And bragging rights heading into Paris in 18 months' time and the next Olympics. Mitchell trying to get the height. Croix forcing her. Can she get in front? Here goes Mitchell. One and a half laps to go. Stolen a march on Mathilde Croix. The Olympic champion looking to put down a marker. She's got a lead, two bike lengths. Cole needs to start gaining. 200 meters to go, and she's not gaining yet. Now comes the acceleration. Doesn't really get on terms, though. One last chance, maybe, into the home straight. It's the Olympic champ, the world champ, and Cole gets it. Celebrates in style, winning the Champions League with a final race win in London. This is how the final league standings shake up. It's a 13-point win in the end for Mathieu de Croix over Kelsey Mitchell, whose final appearance sees her finish in second. Here's Christina Vogel, the Track Champions League ambassador, former multiple world champion. And Matthew Richardson is the proud recipient of the Champions League trophy. David Lapartien, the UCI president, presents the second trophy. And that goes to his compatriot, Mathieu Le Croix. Oh, what a win that was. She will be delighted with her season.